Computer Show with Maud Garrett. Oof. <laughs> it's going to be the audience retention is going to be like a, it's going to look like a COVID <laughs> graph. What are you talking about? ASMR is so popular right now, Elliot. It's the latest thing. I found thing. the sand. Have you guys seen the sand? No. What's that? There's a whole category. I love the there's a whole there's a whole category <laughs> on Instagram where you can see sand get poured into glasses and they then they smash it into different colors and what? it's really relaxing. So that's I'm cool. part yeah. of the cool kid group. I read uh, my ASMR. I think I read children's uh, children's books with my Australian accent. Oh, so that's been my, when I grew up in Australia, there was a show called Play School, and they had like a story time. And honestly, I don't care about the story, but the the sound that the page makes when turning was just heavenly. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> So that's nice. my that's my thing. I think you've Therapy. got a, a new direction for the channel. Just <laughs> today we're doing War and Peace. I think if you read in an Australian <laughs> accent, though, that would be yeah. lovely. Because as we all know, Steve, when I say Star Wars, it's <laughs> go on. Star Wars. <laughs> when you say it in an American one. Uh, Maude, I'm currently watching a show called Married at First Sight Australia. Are you familiar with this program? Yeah, it's our trailer trash, like, must-watch car wreck well, TV. Yes, it is. I was going to ask, yeah, the if you if you had TV. the same same opinion, because the people, for starters, it's a very high-budget show in comparison to the American version, so I don't know what's oh. going on in Australia, but they seem to be doing well. But the people also are, like, actually young and kind of, like, normal but they all seem way cooler and i don't know if it's cool or if they're also just like if everyone in australia is just that cool i would not have used the word cool for it so, <laughs> okay great yeah. for australia or for the okay, show okay great for australia <laughs> like i think it's interesting really? yeah i think you have an australian bias yes. filtered over that yeah. he hears the accent and he's automatically like that's different that's cool this I like the coolest it. thing I've ever heard. That's yeah. it. You guys yeah, have yeah, done the whole rise up lights thing, right? Oh yeah, rise up lights. Yeah, yeah. rise up lights. Joe, have you done <laughs> it? Yeah. If yeah. you it say rise up one. lights, it sounds like you're saying razor blades with an Australian accent. Yeah. Do it. Are you telling Go me for that? it, Joe. Say rise up lights. We'll be right back. <laughs> and maybe we'll hear it when we come back. <laughs> next prop, next prop. All right. Raymond Moeller. He says, which fictional characters would you set your co-hosts up with on a date? Oh, that's really I good. am so interested in this oh, question. I, I got it. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go for Mod first. Mod. Yo, how about, how about, um, uh, what's his name from The Witcher? Gerald? <laughs> Gerald? Yeah, Gerald. Gerald? I'd hook you up with Gerald. Gerald. Just like, I'd be like, hey, I got a friend, he's single. Yeah, but how old is he? I like younger guys. He's like 36 or something, 35. Well, that's why I'm hooking you up with Young Solo over here. Young oh, Solo. Oh, yeah. yeah. Young Solo. Joe says Young Solo. Steve says, what did you say, Steve? Gerald from The Witcher. Gerald. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Link. Ooh, Link. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Because he can be young and old and a wolf or whatever. Yeah, but like that young is like not okay young, you know? <laughs> yeah, but he. <laughs> right. And we've like, established that and we believe that and we I, agree with what you're I saying mean, as a company. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Age of consent. Age of consent in Hyrule is 15, so she's fine. Next prompt. Next prompt. <laughs> 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 now, who are you going to set me up with in real life? What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> we'll talk after the show. Because uh, <laughs> I'm thirsty. Really oh, good. she's thirsty. Um, Guys, we're going to give you her phone number after we're all done here. So anybody can text Mon. What's that sound? <laughs> Somebody's you, mic just died. Are, is your apartment <laughs> erupting like a volcano? Yeah, something happened. I thought it was the water. I thought it was, but. Oh, now we can't hear you. Oh, is it your headset? It's your headset. All right, Maude, who would you who would you choose? Out out of Link and 
Geralt. And young and Solo. Link doesn't necessarily talk all that much, even though he's very pretty to look at. So I'm gonna have to get rid of that because I like to have a connection. Shut your camera uh, up, Elliot. You're out. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Bye. this is like the dating game. Oh wow, don't put the Bye. Uh, Next oh. prom, please. <laughs> uh, Geralt's got like, he's a bit of a full package because he's a really good mediator. He talks people out of a lot of sort of like violent altercations and he can also slay beasts. And the most that I've seen of Geralt is from the back, and that's a pretty bell. Uh, young Solo, are we talking old and Ehrenreich? Yeah, you said that's, it, cartoon, that, that's who I think. Initially? Uh, Shouldn't it be like young Lando Calrissian? Ooh, I'll you let know, her. I'll let you choose. You can have them both. Whatever makes me win. You're well, right. That, I can't change you. I'm not going to make your <laughs> thing more appealing. Lando is a little bit of a womanizer and he has a gambling problem and so does Han Solo actually. But the other thing about Han Solo is that he's the kind of guy that hears a no but act, uh, when he's told a no he hears a yes and he's persistent until the woman gives in and I think that that is a very horrific lesson for wow. young men to learn. So I'm gonna go with Geralt. Okay. Wow. Yeah. A lot of ups and downs there. That was quite the journey. Yeah, we're done here. Elliot Morgan, thank you for being on the show today, sir. I got you set up with the most voluptuous, hot, voluptuous, hot woman. And her name is Jessica Rabbit. And she's all I knew you were going to say Jessica Rabbit. Any other options in these fictional people? That I'm yeah, I got one for you. Oh, is that a clue? Oh, is the Scoobmobile coming by? Because Daphne's there in her purple dress and green headband. <laughs> I Ooh. thought she was going to say blue from Blue's Clues. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like clues, Elliot? Well, here's a dog. And it's behind you! <laughs> hey, Elliot, remember the dog from The Mask? Well, he's single! <laughs> okay, so we got Daphne, we got Jessica Rabbit. Steve, what do you got? Um, Let's see. I'm gonna go with... Ooh, how about... How about... Um... um like a Kristen Stewart or or something like a Kristen Stewart from the um from one of those movies where she was like um an independent film she's older she's out of the twilight films she's what are you talking? I'm going shit together Kristen Stewart older than twilight from some independent film or something she that doesn't sound got... oh so any fictional cooler Kristen Stewart is your answer? is it fictional or cooler is it cartoon? than cooler I'm than sorry. What I'd say it yeah. says fictional. I mean, but I think oh, okay. I was thinking cartoon too. Uh, mm. I mean, I'll do, I, I'll do Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> I do love Fuck Daphne. And Daphne. Okay, I've got a question on that though, and this is going a little anthropomorphic. But do you think that having a legitimate crush on Lola Bunny is acceptable? Is it yes. acceptable? Yeah, sure. absolutely. Yes. Yeah, I was going to set you up with Lola Bunny, Steve. Yeah. That's great. I That's would love one. it. Lola she's Bunny. Great. She's spunky. She's athletic. And she's a cartoon character, which means she's inherently wacky whether she wants to be or not. If it was a live action film and you just sort of put a jersey on a actual bunny rabbit, I probably wouldn't be okay with being sexually attracted to it. But yeah. you know, I think that they've done enough with her to really make her pop. Or hop. <laughs> Steve, I hope you enjoy your very short tryst with Lola Bunny because uh, I'm gonna introduce you to your wife and it is the garbage lady from The Labyrinth. Not only will she love you, she knows it has every toy from your past and she's gonna bring it back and she's gonna make you so happy because every night is gonna be a nostalgic ride and a ride. You know what I'm saying? Can I just see an impersonation of her just to refresh my memory on? Yeah, she goes like, Oh, Charlie Bear! You love Charlie Bear, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, you got something? What? Elliot, Elliot do you yeah, have someone? You have some? We're pulling up a seat to the table. Oh, huh? I thought we were moving on. You did this. I, I was already we... mentally wondering what the next prompt was. <laughs> I be. thought we were too, but I'm down to keep doing it. A fictional character for Steve. Okay. And what did you say, Joe? Someone who has toys from his garbage past? Lady. Yeah. Yeah. Garbage, garbage lady. Garbage lady. Okay. A yeah, disgusting yeah. garbage woman puppet. I, I really know. like Lola Bunny. I mean, Elliot's going to have to come up with something real good if, uh, if I'm going to choose something other than Lola Bunny. Judy Dench from Cats. Sold. <laughs> 
maybe we'll hear it when we come back. <laughs> <laughs> what are you asking, Steve? Joe. Yeah. Oh, oh. I didn't. I didn't hear you say like, my name. Riser blades. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't say razor blades. Say rise oh. up lights. Rise up lights. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you're saying rise, rise up, up lights. lights. Rise, rise up, up lights. lights. <laughs> rise up lights. <laughs> rise up lights. 